In this video, Catalina will show some of the results from her master thesis about screen sharing on the web. The web application we're about to see uses an extended version of the Web Real-Time Communication API available at Ericsson Labs. For sharing the entire screen, we have to select the button in the main menu and accept the dialog displayed. First, we have to introduce a password in order to make the server able to identify both ends. Then, a window appears asking for confirmation. Once accepted, we have to wait until our friend selects viewing the desktop. Let's see how this is done. In the main menu, our friend has to select viewing the remote desktop button and introduce the same password as we did. Now is our turn to begin sharing our screen. We click on the button and select the source of our video, in this case, the screen images. We can now see how our friend is viewing our desktop. The stop sharing button will always be visible in the right bottom part of our browser. In order to stop the communication, we have to press it and our friend will stop viewing the remote screen. Thank you.